about those next Why? god. I think has a positive matchup. And let's get the Sobek. They opportunity also. They can go for the Awilix. This is as positive in the 1v1. But an Afro pick out here. And they opt. Tiamat. Tiamat's something that we've seen. I believe it's mostly just been Benny Q, which as far as the bottom two are concerned. But what are your thoughts? How he's going to set up his team. Because last game, we were talking about huge, impactful Nike. Unfortunately, there, misses the sickle. Doesn't have the slow on to Johnny. Has the blue buff as of right now. And a little bit of a clear advantage. But he's not going to be able to secure it fully. Instead, Johnny goes in. Julio picks up the blue. And now they've got Haddix on the ropes. You need the chase down, though. The find it. There's the feather step. And one more auto is all you need, Johnny. First blood. And now the invade flipped on its head. Goes for Scream. Immediately diving in. There's Julio. Ooh. Goes a little over the mark. And the blue buff this time going to be secured by Scream. But can he secure his life with a teleport in from Haddix? It was just Scream was full on retreat, right? He completely bailed on that fight. Hurry win. Not level 5 he's just yet. definitely has the kill confirmation and he's gonna grab it. That's set up easily for there. the invade. Julio's gonna come up behind. Half health already. Blue buff. Stolen and taken down. Now you've got Julio going in. Had the stun but you need a little more. Feather step from Johnny. Good damage. Great fearless. Oh my god the peel. The pullback. Maybe not on the target he wanted. Johnny pulls in Haddix instead and Haddix kills him off. Now Scream just has to stay alive. He needs a little bit of help. Julio at least pulls one back. Goes for a fearless. Not a good Might fearless. Might not want to fight against Haddix. The slow is good. The auto's strong and the Ravens pull in too. But we do see a little bit of aggression over in left lane. Hurry win doesn't have old, but Zapman does, so the target's got to be Ares, and that's who they're looking at. Yeah, they grab him. Johnny, damage is good so far. Just needs a little bit more. Zap, next one on the chopping block. He uses the ult to get away. Scream, now around the corner. Plot going to be good, but the beads overpower it. Zapman can't escape, though. Johnny has the damage, and Rapio's made the rotation. Leap forward. You need something to close the gap, but you can't quite Not catch Scream. He stuck around trying to DPS Spudio. He could have just bailed, and I think that would have been the correct play. He just didn't want to give up on Hurry that quickly because once he gets down, the, the chase was ensued, and Johnny is plenty fast even after the mounted archery has enough damage. Rafio making another rotation, and Hurry wins the target once again. Hurry goes for the pull. All three come Here's in. Ven. You've got Vin to rotate through. Apple connects onto Rafio, and it's going to not spread, but the damage is still good, and the chase is on. Now Scream with the beeline to the back line, catches up with the mid laner and takes him down. Now Kha'Zix nowhere to run, and one more hit is all you need. Vin makes sure to put that one down. Alt from Spudio. He's trying to connect on Vin, gets the stun, but it's bouncing back and forth here. Now Johnny, unfortunately, rotates in a little late and apparently didn't get the memo. Third on the board for the it's Ravens. Clutch rotation immediately nails Rapio with the apple from downtown. I mean, Kha'Zix should have been the only one to fall there, but stuck around just a little bit too Green. long. Laying in wait, a trap set for Julio. With the chains and maybe the presence there, not only a little too early, but also now noticed and known. Julio able to avoid at least one. And Hex Mambo are going to respond in kind. It's not quite the five-man rotation the Ravens had a couple games ago, but it is four on three as Vin starts to make his way over here. Julio, though, taking a lot of damage. Goes for the up-down. There's going to be a pull-in from Hurry, and you've got the damage, but Julio manages to make it out of here. Fearless under the tier one gets him away. Now Vin, Scream, looping around the side. One's going to pick up Johnny, and the rest are going to collapse into Hex Mambo. Rapio pulls back one, but a double kill for the Ravens mid laner. Keeps this fight going. Scream needs a little protection needs a little help. Vin taking the tower helps get his jungler out of there. And with Kha'Zix using the pluck a little too early, they might be able to find more good Stop strike. Just put them in just such a beautiful position to continue this tear. Now they're chasing down Kha'Zix. The poor Sobek can't do much about the chain and then has to ult for ult trade with Hurry who goes for the pull. Now Johnny in trouble. You mentioned it. He's in danger here and one more hit and the bleed will do it. Scream finds him and that is a fourth death for this Awilish. Just can't get the ball rolling. And that's the thing. Look at Johnny's build. He recognized immediately the magic damage is going to be a problem. He's trying to build into it but he just cannot step forward. It's Hurrywind, it's Scream and of course it's Haddix, the Highland Ravens to burn through the tanks. I don't see Hurrywind dying anymore. Like, even with the plucks from Kha'Zix, it takes a while. Unless you do something like this, maybe. Pulled back. 
damage needs to be there, but hurry! He's walking through a minefield, he hasn't stepped on anything, everything goes his way, no CC connects, and now they've got the turnaround. Julio's so low, no one can get back there, you gotta protect Vin, you gotta keep him alive. The Aegis buys some time, but doesn't buy his life. Haddix comes in, looks for Johnny, needs the hit, pluck, the peel, it's so clean for no x to keep him going, and they manage to avoid hurry. He's still gonna get one pull, and he's looking for a single kill, but they manage to keep the carries alive. Only lose the Sobek in the process. Now Scream loops around the red, sees Julio. A little harder seeing nice. him there, but it's no problem for him. Picking up the Pyromancer, putting themselves even further ahead. Yeah, a little bit of a scrap here. Zapman needs to get back to lane and grab that wave, but he has to win a 1v1 versus Spudio in order to do so. I wouldn't mind seeing the actual scrap old for old. Not going to work out, but Spudio could certainly grab the tower unless Johnny is on the hunt. He wants Zap. He's got to pull some relics. Beads down. Right. In fact, starting to teeter towards the 6,000 mark here for the Ravens. 17 minutes into the game. No old for Zap. No old for Zap. He does have backup on the way, and he's going to run towards Scream to try and help him out, and that's going to do a lot of damage to Johnny. you got to play that carefully. Ult just a little late for Scream, and the leap good for Johnny to get him over oh. the wall. Now Spudio forced Whoa. to run back and thrown right back towards Venenu, who cleans that up. Scream and a little bit of danger. Can't avoid the damage. Uh, and even though it's primal in nature, it's going to be good so far for the Ravens. Rapio's around. And that's enough to make them drop it. I didn't expect them to, to just leave it. Because of the golden apple, so Ben will take that trade every day of the week. Ben, I don't even know up. if I want to call it a skirmish in mid, but at least a slap fest now slows from Haddix, chasing down Rapio. They've got Kha'Zix isolated and alone, but Julio goes into the back line and stuns out too. It's not going to save his frontliner, but it is going to set up Vin to be low hell. Johnny loops in once something big goes and looks for Venenu's health, is getting the damage, but is not locking him down. Finally, someone's able to kill him, but Trelly, it's one kill in a field of death for Hex Mambo. Four of them are gone. Haddix with a double. Now Julio taken off the board. A full on deicide for the Ravens. It just and seemed I mean, like Hex Mambo had no leg in that race. Kha'Zix is stepping up, going for a miracle steal. Let's see if he can get any sort of damage out, but can you even walk past Haddix is the question. Yeah, trying to get in is damn near impossible. Can't some do that. Hurry, it's been a little while for some of them last year. And it is just making sure that they can get there. Primal Fury started up by the Ravens. Kha'Zix oh. comes in, whiffs the pluck, but there's going to be a knockup, and it pulls in Zatman. They kill him off, and Hex Mambo are not letty, ready to let this one rest. Instead, it's going to be aggression. Venenu, main target. Johnny goes in, is looking for him. You need a little more, though, and no one's there to help him out. Rapio loops around. Alternate timeline for Vin, and it keeps him alive, keeps him moving, goes under the tier two, and he keeps on kicking. Julio up, down, stun is good, looking for a lot in the back. Meanwhile, Haddix, 1v. He's Four tries to do so much. Can't believe it. Julio finally taken out, but three kills for Hex Mambo show that they are not done with this fight, not done with this game. I mean, Scream, he's got a lot of damage here. It's going to be scary. Do they have the CC chain? Yes, they do. Scream used his beats, but it doesn't even matter. Why not? Oh, the but hurry alone. went down. Hex Mambo are not done yet. I mean, they will that dip. That's not that much, but you just got rid of the full fire giant. You stopped it in its tracks. You could get a fear. You could... Well, unfortunately for Spudio, not quite get this. I want Spudio to fight this. Do it. He's going to go for it. Has the <laughs> Maybe not as the damage. I'm going to solo Spudio. Like, do not worry. I'll save the tier two, and I will solo him. This is where it all started. Kha'Zix blinked in, missed the pluck. See if he can do anything here towards Primal Fury. Doesn't seem like he even wants to, and that's probably the correct call. Unfortunately, you're going to see a pull coming through, which means beads down. for Rob Isolated and distracted. Four, and he still almost got a kill. He didn't quite get it. But when you're in a 1v4, I don't know if we can really knock you for that. Now, plus, force the beads out of that man. Chaos Titan helping knock down a tier two. It's still standing. Spudio goes for the sun's not gonna be able to find it. Hurry. Attempted three-man pull, not able to pull. Cups that are available. So Julio, Kha'Zix, Johnny. They're all going to have it in 30 seconds. Pick, take your pick as to who you want. Or Haddix. That's not the best target, but you get his beads down. I mean, it's a small opener. Was Unfortunately. And Scream knew he could farm up that last item, likely a rod of Tahuti, and yes, he buys it full. Ben gets the beads down, but Kha'Zix takes a lot of damage. Yeah, might not even be able to walk out of this one. Burn from Hurry gets the job done. Now Haddix is going to keep holding W because that's all he knows how to do. Leap over the wall. On to Rapio. Slow's going to be good. Forces 
the Tiamat to jump away, but now Hurry goes in. Beads available now for Rapio. and doesn't have to use them as they disengage. Julio, though, in a little bit of danger. Four surrounding him. About to be five as Scream comes around the corner, helps save Hurry, and looks for the burn, has what they need, and the front line for Hex Mambo gets dismantled. Van takes a lot of damage. He's oh, wrapped wow. up with the tornado and the beads. Aegis comes through. Johnny can't find the damage. Oh, no. and Van gets to live to see another day. I can't believe, I mean, the, the, the turnaround, the peel that has to be there. Vin, virtually no health. Hurry, virtually no health. But Fire Giant, nonetheless, started oh, up by Hex Mambo. Sorry, by the Highland Ravens, Hex Mambo. Spudio tries to step up. Unfortunately for him, Scream exists and says no. Now, Rapio might be the next one in oh, danger. The slows are there. The leap, the chase down. You still got your relics, but you're going to have to use them if you want to get away here. Maybe the peel from Kha'Zix can help, but it is not enough. You have to use everything in your arsenal the to Island stay Ravens alive. The Ravens have to play this one carefully, but there have been some power spikes, Gore. Full and Venom Deathbringer purchase for Zapman. This man is critting a ridiculous amount. You gotta be careful here. Hurry win does have the range. Yeah, he's gonna blink forward. Yeah, they're going for the chase. They're starting the fight. Let's listen in with the Ravens as they take it. To break the base, and they know Enhanced Fire Giant would really be the ticket. That's exactly what Johnny? He's a little bit too far forward, Gore. All by himself. Damage is there. Now has Julio. And Scream Ooh. just a little shy of hitting with that ultimate. So. Johnny, maybe lucky, has to be careful though, stopped at least in terms of the, the back. The later it goes, the less important the gold lead ends up mattering. We're starting to get close to that, but right now, what we're seeing is Rapio forced to fall back. The apple does a lot, and Haddix is going to come in. Proxy alternate timeline, needs a little bit of help. No, he doesn't. Oh my god, his health is not budging. Instead, he's going to fight 1v2 and not care. Chase him down, and it's two kills now for the Highland Ravens. Fire Giant still up, enhanced, and behind them. So the question is, where do they put their pressure? It's on the Phoenix, right-hand side. You still got three strong for Hex Mambo to defend. Instead, they walk gotcha, in. Right? He just goes to the back and says, oh, you got a Tiamat weak? Oh, Ven hit a banger ultimate? I'm going to follow up, and that's exactly what happens. Johnny in the back lane. Hurry one and Ven. Not looking too good here, but the enhanced fire giant, the target. Zapman pulled in by He's Johnny. He's Deleted by the Awheelish. Now the chase has to be on. Kha'Zix is alone. Spudio gets targeted, isolated, killed off by Scream, who's going to continue to look for a little bit more. Johnny is fighting a 1v3. Timeline. He wants Venenu. He gets the timeline, but he needs a little more, and he just does not have it. It's a deicide at this moment. Rapio, Julio respawning. But the Ravens too low Unless to Unless they have a death wish. Not going to step up to the fire giant. Maybe Julio is on that list. Should be burned before he can really get there. He crosses a ward. I was going to ask you about the defense, but maybe I should ask you about the offense. They are stepping up. It doesn't seem like the Ravens have caught wind of it. It's going to be a blink forward. Kha'Zix go for the pluck, but he's going to pull the beads instead. Now they've got Scream on the ropes, but Kha'Zix is the one who ends up going down. Julio leaps into the back, tries to get the Fearless, tries to lock him down. They finally shut down Ben's Scream, gone. and they get rid of Venenu. The Hex Mambo are running into the Ravens, doing everything they can. Julio, though, low, has to play it cautiously. The front line can't be there for the carries of Hex Mambo, and that's going to allow Haddix and the Ravens to start to dissect a little bit more back. Rapio all by himself. Zapman oh, goes in gone. for the kill. Kills off one. Now Johnny is alone in the jungle. Rapio's not going to be coming back to help you out. Luckily, Haddix sickle off the mark and is not going to find the slow. It's not if he wants to kill her win or not. It seems like the mid Phoenix is going to be the target without Rapio. It's not as if they can go in for hurry, even be to So yeah, mid bird down. But can they step forward even further is the question. Eventually, Hurrywind should lose this trade. But yeah, they're going for the end, Gore. They've got the minions to do so. Can they step in and get it done? It's done. got the damage. They've got the minions. The Ravens, they're going back to world. That is ridiculous. The minions pushing in the end. Hit that fire giant. I'm worried slightly. Bracket, as mentioned, it's our first qualifier around and our first team up to the SWC here in Group A, a 3-1 victory.